Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you with a Tesla stock update video. All right, now we have officially reached the $10,000 price point for full self-driving. Now, other cars do have something similar. The new, um, I think, Sonata has like safety features where it can sense if you're drifting too much into one lane, go back into this lane. And a lot of people, there, there's a bunch of cars that have these safety features. And people are very impressed by them. They were just like, well, this is really cool. But every single one of those people have not driven a Tesla. Again, that I know, personally, there's, there's a handful of them. They're, they're absolutely amazed by that. But those same people haven't driven a Tesla. And once they get a view of, like, how different they are from, like, oh, yeah, this is cool. Like, it knows when it's changing. It knows how. They, they don't have that full self-driving that Tesla has. Like, they, once people, especially people with money, or not, not even money, just know the convenience of it and know that the fact that they're going to be able to take that car put it in the gps and they don't have to do a damn thing which again right now you are supposed to still be able there to make conscious decisions but i i swear i see it going once they're in a tesla once i was like oh oh this is different this is on another level like there's a subreddit called next f in level you know it has a real thing i'm just trying not to curse um and it's just like okay here's another you know a lot of people are on here but then there's tesla that's up here is like whoa that is next level um that's something that i'm a hundred percent sure on uh because i've been in model three uh with my friend steve he's got his and i was like i was experiencing this years ago and it's still more magnificent tesla you know model three two years ago full self driving is much better than other people's like safety features and their full self driving whatever version they have of it now um, stock. I don't think this has reflected in the stock that much. Um, I would have liked to have, again, I'm still buying that Pokemon card, uh, tonight, but I would have much rather bought here at 420, uh, or I would have much rather bought it at like 410 the other day after I sold at 430, but, um, it reached 430 again today, up and down, sporadic throughout the day, wound up going to... Uh, positive for the day at 424, a little, little bit down after hours, but the, you know, market cap's at, at that right now. I, I would really enjoy it to see it, you know, in like a, like a week or so after I have some money left over to be able to say like, hey, you know what, I'm going to, uh, um, you know, put a lot of money back into it. You know, I still have about 65 grand in Tesla right now, about 157 shares, whatever that comes out to, but over the last... Yeah, it dropped there because they changed guidance, or, or they didn't change guidance um, at all. That was after the uh, earnings report, I think. I don't know, the earnings report was, was yeah, it was last. Earnings report was like the day, the day before this, so that's when it went up. So, um, uh, again, it was a great earnings report, Q3 is great, but if you're looking at over the last couple of months, like if we go from... I guess 328 to 4. Yeah, I guess that's a bit much. But if we're going back to August, you know, we're building up a nice base here the last two months. 400, and it's now 4. Yeah, it's... And the longer the base, you know, the, the, the more aggressive the either breakout or, you know, put down, I believe that it's going to break out. But that's, again, that's just me. It's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, really. Um... That's it for that today. Square is having issues because of the, again, this is just a theory, but Jack Dorsey, who's CEO of Square and is also CEO of Twitter, has been under fire because of Twitter's censorship, and I think Square is paying the price. Um, you know, we I think we got up to like 190 at one, yeah, 190 at one point, and then it dipped to 167, which I'm, I'm so glad I sold, like, up here and, and not down here uh, again i wish i could have bought um but the markets recovered today they were insanely down yesterday but the markets today are just absolutely back at it uh which is great so this is something that again square tesla something that i'm going to buy again once all these things are figured out this next couple of months um i, I wish i had more if i did I, I would put a good amount to tesla i think it is so undervalued right now I mean, you know, we had it up to at like 500 at one point. Um, 
and the fact that it lost 20% of that down to 400 something right now, where it's been increasing, uh, is just bananas to me. So again, that's what I'm doing. Uh, you know, next year I'll, I'll buy, start buying more, or maybe hopefully end of this year, depending on how things go. Well, that's it, guys. I love you. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. And guess what? I have a Patreon member now. Um, the Patreon will be down below as well. It is something that uh, I do all, you know, a lot of research and my my advice and stuff for free. Um, I do that with, yeah, Pokemon with Tesla, and then I have other stuff. So it is something where I do enjoy um, talking to people. Like I'll talk to people all day about Pokemon Tesla, and I, and I'll put this in another video, but. Um, that's it guys. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.